Welcome to our channel and our new weekly appointment, Tango Shot! Let's start with a few reflections about the origins of tango. Tango is, in first place, a musical genre born to be danced. To understand it, we must go back to the late 90s of 19th century, when Buenos Aires was a small village on the Rio de la Plata facing the even smaller Montevideo. For its particular position, both Montevideo and Buenos Aires had been a regular hub for a slave trade. In order to increase the population of the country, the government opened its frontiers to immigrants from Europe. Due to slavery first and immigration then, the social fabric was various, lively, but for the most extremely poor. Tango is the true expression of this kaleidoscopic society, as African rhythm and European influences from traditional music join together in a perfect match, meeting the local folklore and the sad sound of the bandoneon, which embodied the melancholic spirit of the immigrants with the soft blow of the fuege. It's not unusual to hear or read that tango was born in Brotnal. That's really far from the truth. Tango was born in the courtyards of overcrowded tenement blocks where poos and immigrants used to live. The sound of a guitar, a flute, a violin, perhaps playing together, the popular music of the time, might have been a relief for those who were living there, working hard and having an unexpected sad life. And dance. Most of the immigrants were men, whom the government promised accommodations and rations in exchange for work, so there was a sort of lack of women. The only chance for a low-class average man to get in touch with a woman was in Brotnall and on the dance floor. That's why it must have been not unusual to see men dancing together to practice and learn how to please a woman when they could hold them in their arms. Tango soon became an universal language with no words but still highly communicative and soon spreads to Europe from where it partly came. For its peculiar features, tango becomes in a few decades the national vessel of Argentina, even through the radio and movies. In 1916, perhaps one of the most famous tangos recorded by Firpo, who adapted for tango a Uruguayan march from Gerardo Matos Rodriguez, La Comparsita. That's how the first tango icons rose, Gardel, Canaro, Maglio, De Caro, Firpo among all. Due to its importance, in 2009, tango was inscribed on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity, as it is one of the most recognizable embodiments of the Argentine cultural identity. Our trip through the history of tango ends up here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Ciao! Oh, no.